What is going on, everybody? Back on it, Berserk 335, 36, 37. I think that's kind of where we're at. We're going to be done here. So this is getting done the first week of October. I think we're going to be wrapped up by Thanksgiving or so. I think with Berserk, which is kind of wild to think. We've got 40 ish chapters at six a week. Yeah, yeah, just about. So I know when we do that for sure, we're going, when we finish that for sure, we're definitely, definitely, definitely going to do the, um, the 90s anime of it. Um, I've been told to just stay away from everything else. And then once we wrap up that 90s anime of it, I'm just going to be hanging out like everybody else. <laughs> if we get a new chapter, we get a new chapter. If there ever comes a day we get an announcement where they're, we're going to get a proper studio to actually animate it to its full potential, then... I'll be here waiting like everybody else. Jumping into this, we see Falconia, like essentially the promised city, and shit does look insane. Um, they can harvest crops year-round. Things never stop growing. Everything is lush and plentiful, and the area almost has its own kind of like safe zone aura around it that the monsters and things can't even approach. Um, so it's pretty perfect. It almost seems too perfect, in my opinion. Um, but who knows? I mean, it's all uh, Griffith-based if he decides whatever he kind of direction he wants to go with it. You've got apostles helping Midland forces. You've got Kashan forces living in here. I mean, it's. I mean, if if you're a part of humanity and you can make it, it seems like all are welcome. Um, oh gosh, what was her name? I don't know more. I remember Nina's name so much, but I can't remember uh, Luca. I think that's her name. Um, she's moving on up. No more whoring. <laughs> Just out here living life. So I don't know how the hell she got here safely in one piece. You know, good for her. Um, and Rickert has a meeting with Griffith, and I'm really curious to see how that goes. Because I don't think he's seen Griffith since he's been told what happened. Does that change his opinion on him? Is Griffith going to be able to sense that there's something within him? And then if he does sense that, how does that make Griffith feel? Does it make him feel anything? I don't know. And I posed the question last reaction of like, so Griffith had this dream, right? That's what he gave up everything for. That's what he sacrificed his friends for. All of it. Whatever you want to call it. Now that the dream is not only like realized, like it's accomplished. Like you've done it. What now? Because he, I don't know if he knows how his story ends or how he how much he knows of destiny and everything. But there's never going to be a force that can oppose or tear down what has been achieved and built. And he will live forever. It's not like he's some king that just won the greatest war that Earth and humanity has ever faced, and, you know, he's eventually going to die and have children. You know, his story will eventually end. He will live forever. <laughs> um, And once you've achieved your goal, essentially, so early, I feel like, it's not like he's been around for hundreds of years, you know. um, He achieved that lifelong goal pretty quick. What does he want to do now? Like, I... Uh, are you content with just kind of like ruling happy and all for the rest of your days? Or like, does he tear it down himself from the inside? Like, does he go searching for gut? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, see what we got. And is it just me or does it look like they're making Rickert really like soft and feminine looking? I feel like he never looked like he always looked young and kind of like little and like the pip squeak of the group. But like, if I glance quick enough, I would get him mistaken with Farnese, damn near, or some of the other girls. I don't know if that's got a part to play that he's supposed to be able to resemble. I don't know. I'm curious. I feel like his presentation, the way that they've drawn him, has changed. Maybe that's just me. We'll see. All right, here we go. Sturdiness will only get you so far. This on? Yeah. Alright, see so what we got. I mean the walls are so grand, it's crazy. It's what can you if 
pretty much perfect. Man. Please wait here briefly. I'm really curious of this interaction. Because I think this would be the... I wouldn't say most anticipated. I think my second most anticipated meetup. Actually, I would say my first anticipated meetup like of people actually talking. Not just like throwing hands because... I don't even know if we can actually throw hands with anything that Griffith has actually become. But as far as like a, a back and forth of words, Guts and Griffith, of course, that's number one. Skull Knight and Griffith would be number two. My third one, if she regained consciousness in herself, would be Casca and Griffith. And I think after that, my fourth one would be um, these two, Rickert and Griffith, just to kind of... Just curious. And you know what I would also, like my fifth... Interaction I would like to see, even though they know nothing of each other. I would like to see Farnese and Griffith kind of in that presence. Because we know what kind of is like deep down within her or was within her. If she was exposed to something that like, I could have seen her becoming, to, like if she was destined to become an apostle, you know, making that choice with kind of what the darkness that was within her. I wonder if he would be able to like trigger a response out of her just off like aura alone. I don't know. Falconia, the Hawk's city, the Hawk's castle, as if it were ordered just for Griffith. Oops, hold on. This castle has a different architectural style than the city below. Falconia, the Hawk's... Actually, I don't know which one of these was supposed to be read first. There's nothing left of the old Windham Castle, where we spent so much of our time. It's all gone. Are you Rickert? Sir Laban told me about you. I'm Owen, head of the Falconia's castle guard. General Owen, you needn't have come in person, my lord. No need for formality. I wanted to show my respect for a unit commander of the old band of the Hawk. Was Rickard a unit commander? He was a unit commander, but so much that we had to leave his ass behind? I, I honestly can't remember. Where, now that I'm thinking about it, was every like, original member, did they command like their own little unit? Like, did Corcus have his, and Rickard, and Pip, Judah... I don't know. Our kingdom's heroic saviors. I'll be your guide. Heroic? I just happened to be promoted because I was a veteran member. Hmm, then... Have you known the Hawk for a long time? Yes, sir. Ever since we were the lowly bandits of the Hawk. I'd love to hear more about that. Hmm. The Hawk is in the middle of a ceremony. Your audience will have to wait for a bit. Ceremony? That's it there. And doesn't he have the capability to connect people with their uh, ones that have passed on? Hmm. Hmm. All souls of the dead now gathered in the house of God. And here's the thing. Are we taking anything this man, this like Pope figure says? Like... Because clearly there's other things that could be just as powerful as like whatever word he's preaching out there. Like, you've seen it. There's mo Humans are turning into things. Are we like still praying to the higher of? Like, is that even considered a real... I... Hey. Maybe they've, they've got faith in something. Children of fathers, children of mothers, when you make the blessed departure to be in God's presence, let it not be a parting of sorrow or pity. What is this? A funeral... Relatives are saying their final farewells to those who died en route to the capital and to the soldiers who died escorting them. The bodies of all who died en route to Falconia temporarily lie in a state, temporarily lie in state in this castle. It's exceptional treatment for common subjects. Her Highness Princess Charlotte also attends the services. And His Holiness the Pontiff is here. While it is a mass funeral, the highest ranking priest of the Holy See performs the ceremony personally, but most importantly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is this is I don't think she's ever going to leave his side. And the thing is like Rickert can't even have a thought to himself when they do meet if she's right by his side, which sucks. Because if he even has a thought of like, "Oh, I want to help Guts. I need to go find Guts. I need to think about this or talk about that." That information is just going to get relayed. So, quiet. I know how you feel, but for now, restraint. I'm sorry, I just... watch. I'm like, do we think this is natural, guys? 
Rickert knows this shit isn't natural. He never did this. He would never did this before. <laughs> um, this wasn't a thing. And when he pulls these souls out, right, as we see here, this ability that he has. Did we get confirmation that if he does that, they they go to hell, right? Is that? I don't think he has any access to, like, dictating, like, oh, where their souls will go. I think they go to hell, right? I don't know. What is that? That is the other side of death. Oh, shit. The people are now witnessing what lies beyond the edge of this life. Ah, Sir Locus. This night, I can tell he isn't human. Yeah, no shit. Look at him. <laughs> I can tell, too. For them, this is more significant than the spirit world overflowing into this world and driving people from their lands. Death is not an end. The self continues to exist beyond it, which means things like heaven and hell might also exist. Being confronted with death calls people's lives into question. We all agree, well, everyone in the story, at least, that have had access to it. We know that hell exists. But do you truly think that Griffith can control where that goes? I don't think so. Sonya, okay. I'm always get mixed up between Sonya and Olivia. I don't know where Olivia comes from. Sonya, yep, I'm on it. Those who can't make out the spirit's words come forward. Hawk's medium will convey them to you. Do you know the phrase divine rights of kings? Divine rights of kings? The throne is something bestowed by the hand of God. Therefore, none must violate it. A high spiritual rank links the legitimate king to the land, guiding the realm to prosperity. It's a theme that often occurs in myths and legends. Many royal families claim it to be true in their case. However, a hundred stories and an entire doctrine lose their power when presented with that spectacle. Pretty nice shot. Oh, that was a chapter. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm almost positive somebody told me that, or one of y'all were telling me in the comments that, like, when he pulls out these souls, like, it looks cool and all, and wow, you know, children and spouses and relatives get to see their, you know, loved ones before they, one last time, you know, get out anything they need to say. You know, it's, it's a touching moment. Imagine if you could do that in real life, you know. Um... But I'm pretty sure after he does that, they go to hell. Almost positive. Could be incorrect. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, well. Here we go. I'm sure they're going to show that here. I would think. A solemn spectacle, like some religious painting. The divine right of kings. It will take some time for the ceremony to end. Sir Owen, if you don't mind, I'd like to borrow him for a bit. There's something I wish to tell him in private, as he was the old Bane of the Hawk. Hell no. We already know he's not human, and you want me to hang out with him. Uh, so you heard about him. I wouldn't mind that, but... Yeah, yeah, you might... Owen, you might not mind that. I, me, Rickert. I, I... I mind that. General Owen, what is it? A thief seems to have broken into the castle. Two guards were discovered unconscious. A thief in this ca... Bro, y'all have non-human watchdogs. Like, how the hell does that happen? I apologize, Rickert. As you heard, I must go. Sir Locus, please take charge of him. Hmm. Hmm. Every time I hear the Guts theme, I gotta make sure which track it is, because they do not like that shit, YouTube. Well, then, let's go. You were once one of the Hawk's feathers. There's something of which you really ought to be aware. <sighs> what does he want? What are you trying to tell me that I haven't already heard? Sir Locus, what the hell are you trying to do here, man? Like, are you... Is he plotting for Griffith's interest? Is he plotting against Griffith's interest? Is he plotting for his own in... I don't know. I don't know. Something regarding the present Hawk of, L Hawk of Light. Like, does he want to poke and prod Rickert because he wants to make sure that if he gets close to... Griffith, nothing happens to his beloved Griffith? Or is he poking and prodding Rickert because he questions something within Griffith? But I feel like there's no way Locust would be able to walk around that close. 
around Sonya and Griffith and everything with those kind of thoughts on his mind and not have that be sniffed out, you know? If it was like backstabbing motives. Hmm. Hmm. What is that? The common soldiers seem to seem too scared to go near it? Pandemonium? Uh, the den of the war demons? The Hawk of Light's bodyguards? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. War demons, buddy. It seems you know of them. Your name is Rickert, yes? Tell me, why did you request an audience with the Hawk? I didn't. They, they were just handing that shit out for free, bro. <laughs> I did not ask for that at all. So this is just, he just keeps them in like a Thunderdome, Royal Rumble out there? What is that? Is that where the apostles go to just like make sure they don't get rusty? Or what the hell is that? For nothing more than to renew an old friendship? To try and gain a patron to help establish y you here in this city? Both things? Or perhaps to question him? Locus, I'm going to need you to relax there, bucko. About what happened beneath the black sun of abstract time? The thing is, Locus is asking the questions that I, as a reader, am curious of what Rickert wants. Because Rickert didn't ask for an audience with him, you know? It was just kind of like, Rickert probably would like to see Griffith, but it, he wasn't, like, plotting to see Griffith. It was just like, oh, well, he does, he probably would want to talk to him and see him and ask him some questions. It was somebody he looked up to. And it's like, oh, it was an offer given? Sure, I'll take it. But all these could be things, and I don't know what he is looking for. Does he want to just see what's up with Griffith? <laughs> um, does he want to be like, hey, what can I do to elevate my status for me and Erica or whatever? Or does he want to ask him like, hey, what really happened to everybody? I think those are all valid questions, but why is he asking me these questions? How did you? It's simple deduction. A feather of the former band of the Hawk lacks the scent of the brand. Ah, uh, yeah, he's not branded. So he wasn't a part of what happened. Mm -hmm. Which means, for some reason, you were spared the ceremony of abstract time. It's only natural you would want to ask what happened that day. And of where your comrades vanished to. I already know the answer to that. Guts told me that day on the Hill of Swords. Oh, then do you wish to hear that answer from the Hawk himself? Delivered in a tone of remorse? I don't know what he wants. But to me, your eyes at least don't seem to be tainted with hatred. You could never really hate Griffith, correct. And it's been said before. And that's why it's hard, because I feel like the only one that could truly have rage. Like, oh, well, I don't even know if, if Guts could, but I say he's probably got the best percentage chance that if given the opportunity, he could. But all the others, like, swap out... Swap out... Let's say Rickert, swap out Rickert with Judo. Judo will, was the one that died in Casca's arms at the Eclipse. and um, I mean, Rickert was the one, and Judo's alive, taking care of Erica and all those things. Or switch out Corcus, or switch out Pippin. Um, this statement would hold true to any of them. I don't think any of them could truly hate him, even if told what would happen, you know? So... Hmm. There is a great difference between knowing and experiencing. Correct. What is he about to do? Like, make us feel a little bit of it, or what? Whether you ask or ask not, first you ought to see them. These who are the Hawk of Lights, Beak and Talons. Why do I want to see them? What purpose is this giving me? And again, I'm surprised they keep a sorcerer like this alive. Okay, surely. Honestly, it's like throwing maybe it's like throwing a, a a pebble at a tree as far as like what his power could be towards Griffith. But why did we go after the old lady witch so hard, you know? If there's I feel like if something could be a 1% chance threat, it's a threat. So you leave him around long enough, you know he was loyal to Ganishka. And if given an opportunity, hey, I wouldn't trust him personally, but hey. Hey, you damn kids, I told you don't come near here. Dang it, you really want to get eaten, huh? 
Blasted knee. I'd sooner just float. Yeah, just float. You okay, old beardy? You're a new arrival from yesterday? I'm Erica. And I bet you plan to sneak into the barn while I can't move? I hadn't thought of that. Oh no, you don't watch? Whoa. Knocked the hell out of her. Aw oh, man, now she'll be stuck helping him all day. <laughs> he really just hit her with that shit. Caught you, girl. Now you do whatever I want. Go on now. Get to work. What is this? It's kind of fun. Whew, all done. Good job. Well, girl, if you're sick of this, never go near that barn again. Oh, come on. This is fun. You're a stubborn one. The other kids gave up after I worked them this hard. That's because I'm a blacksmith's daughter. Hard work is what I do. Well, have it your way. Makes things easier for me. Wait here. Um, I think this box... Oh, shit. She got him a little ACL, a little knee brace and shit. Found it. Bro, he just literally mesmerized somebody to make them do whatever he wants. He can't, like, say some shit and put it on his leg. That seems unfortunate. Let's see. Do this with this. There, try standing, old beardy. That's a fine thing. Well done, girl. Hey, Gramps, what's all... What's that all about? Luca, if your injury isn't fully healed, you should say so. Otherwise, this manual labor is... Mind your own business. This is just joint pain that comes with old age. It's no big deal. This is unusual, though. You letting someone get close to you. This one's just pushy, is all. Even so, that's one great contraption. Is it yours, Erica? Rickert made it. Rickert made... Rickert will make just about anything. Like explosives, and repeating bow guns, and lots more. It's thanks to those we managed to get here. He made that supportive device for my dad when his legs got weak. Where's your dad? He died a long time ago. Daddy was an amazing blacksmith, too. He made this one sword so huge it was bigger than a person. Uh, Luca, where have we seen that before? Think, think, think. Where have both of you seen that before? A sword bigger than a person? No one could wield such a thing. It'd totally be useless. Oh, uh, it can be wielded. Maybe it could be done. Yes, maybe. Somebody did do it. I want to hear the rest of that conversation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'd love to hear the rest of that conversation. They really are in here just fucking doing WWE sparring matches and shit. Damn. I guess just to make sure they're in practice. But practice for what? I mean, I guess there are dragons and all types of other shit out there. I, uh, I guess. And trolls and shit. That's not something y'all couldn't just easily walk over. What is this? Yeah. What are we trying to do here? These are the war demons. They are generally combat. They are generally. They are generally speaking combative. Captured monsters are brought into the castle, and they thus devote themselves day and night to combat training. But so the story goes, chances are, they're all just hungry for blood and slaughter. Possibly. Could be very possible. Just out here just throwing hands for free. It's like a scene out of hell. It's these supernatural soldiers who are the Hawk of Light's beak and talons. In exchange for these monsters, in exchange for the, in exchange for these monsters, Griffith took the band of the hawk, and he, they're human, originally human. These are those refashioned by causality and extraordinary obsessions. These are all apostles, uh-huh. Were the hawk of light not leading them? They'd simply indulge in their own desires, doing nothing but harm to the world of men. Beasts to be simply shunned, feared, and detested. By their own doing, though. He's making it seem like they're just mutants born and that can't control it. They gave into extraordinary obsessions. Granted, it's caused by destiny, but still, they don't know that, and we don't even know what's controlled by it at the time. But like, they sacrificed the things to get th to get to become these type of things with power. 
That's why is he over here saying, you know, they're just going to be shunned, feared, and detested. No shit. They chose that, though, to, you know, indulge in their own desires and things. But the Hawk of Light forged them together into a sword. He made them walk with men, impelling them to be guard beasts for their world. He gave even brutes like us a place where we belong. And? <laughs> and you must have seen it. In this new world, even if war is inescapable, men no longer fight other men. They need only wield the sword to protect mankind. Even if death is inescapable, people no longer fear death. They see for themselves that the soul is immortal. Yeah, and he's sending them all to hell. No great king in history has ever been able to achieve this. An incisive utopia. That is the land of the hawk. That is the land the hawk of light brings about for mankind. Yeah, this sounds great. It's the question that I've been posing that I asked last episode. It's like... Everything he's saying, sure, it's true. Hum humans can't keep up with what the world has become. They can't fend it off themselves. Shame on you, Rickert, for thinking, you know, apostles might be bad and what they've given up. And you might have fought them in the past, but it's different. You know, humans and apostles and demons or whatever have come together. We now fight for each other to, you know, be on this world. Whatever, whatever, blah, 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 whatever explanation you want to use. I feel like it was the same thing I gave last reaction of, like, Zombie apocalypse is broken out. The human population is... What are we at? 8 billion? Just under 8? Something like that? We're down to like... 50,000. Barely any of us left. And I've created this great city with walls. Food that grows year round. Protection. Medicine. You know, a place where old people and children can grow and not have to worry. And yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. And I'm being hailed as this this and that. But little do does the 50,000 people that are still alive know that I'm the reason that there's only 50,000 of us left. <laughs> I caused the start of the zombie apocalypse and everything to go to complete shit. And there only be literally a county size speck of land in the entire world that's safe to be because the land is just billions of zombies out there type shit, you know? So are we gonna... Are we... Fa and the, like, the population won't know that, so they don't. they're just grateful for it. Like, am I supposed to be giving you praise for that when you're the reason that it got to that point? I don't know. Let's get this last chapter in. Let's see what we've got. There seem to be more flowers again. Oh, let's see this interaction. Any type of flower will bloom here. It pleases me so much. I'm having flowers from all lands brought to this garden little by little. Here, Your Holiness, thank you for today. I'm much obliged that your highness would serve me personally. Here's the thing. You know. Uh, I'm assuming Charlotte's going to want to marry and they're already engaged or promised or whatever. Can he even produce? I, I, I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe for her safety, but like. If she gets pregnant, does it is it coming out as a human? Like, what is it coming out as? Will she survive it? I was going to say, what place in the world is it for? But we see that the world has come to. I'm curious, like, what that would do to her, what the child would come out as. I don't know. I'm wiped out. I don't want to see any ghosts for a while. And your duties as medium aren't easy either, Sonia. What's this? Herbal tea? I mean, you're all so busy all the time. You can at least have this when you're free. Chamomile, ginger... Margarine, hibiscus, certainly does calm the mind. You really do know everything, Lord Griffith. Okay. Smells too green. <laughs> but I do kind of feel nice and warm, so I'll have more. Yeah, tell her. There are cakes, too. This really does seem to ease the mind. Your Holiness, please don't push yourself too hard. That is... Think of your health. Oh, these old bones no longer fear death. In fact, I even look forward to it. Thanks to the hawk and the medium showed me again today. I won't die just yet, though. I still have the duty of presenting the crown upon the hawk of light's head. No, the destiny of doing so. But before that, I'll have to perform the wedding ceremony for you two. 
Way too sweet. Hey, get on her ass, Sonya. Break that shit up. But him behind me, he looks like he wants some. So I'll have another. <laughs> uh, don't use me as an excuse. Another cup? I'd love some. Don't be a show-off here. You can have half. I'm on duty guarding you. Lord Griffith? Sir Locus has brought a guest to see you. Yeah, now that you shook in his mind, he already was a troubled youth coming up here. Oh, Lord. Hold on. I hear a Target commercial. What the hell do be going on, man? Try to get through this here. All right, hold on. State Farm's got to tell us a little something here. Let me get it the hell out of my face. All right. See how this goes. Now, I'm curious if... Because, I mean, Griffith is... He is all being. He is one. He is him. Is he... Like, Oracle status? Like, Oracle from the Matrix status? Like, he knew Rickert was going to show up at this day, at this time? Does he know how it all will end? Does he know the answers that Rickert will give? Does Rickert even have a choice? Is he going to say something like, Hey, Rickert, don't worry about the vase? And Rickert's going to be like, What vase? Turn around and hit the vase? He's going to ask him the question of, like, Would he have hit the vase if... Griffith never said anything? Like, I don't know what he does know. So is he shocked to see him? I don't know. I don't know. Lord Griffith, I must excuse myself for a bit. What, who could that be? Charlotte, you know us, no? I mean, we are a little bit old. Maybe she... Uh, I can't remember if they had any face-to-face -face interactions... As Princess Charlotte? Yeah, I mean, he he knows who she is, but there's only one Princess Charlotte you have to know. Charlotte, knowing all the members of the Hawk, could be questionable. Once again there, I really want to know what Rickert's thinking right now. What will I say? Yeah, what do you say? Hey, after seeing that crowd of people and their pleading eyes, that's what I'm saying! And this is what I feel like with, with guts, with what Rickard's feeling right now. No matter what you feel or what you feel should be said or done, or if he should feel remorseful or X, Y, Z, whatever, it doesn't matter what you say. And like, should you even do that? Because he has so much support and the world is going so well because of him. And it's prospering and people are living and surviving and there's crops and, you know, endless life. And you can talk to your loved ones before they pass on. It's like... Who am I to say anything about that or get in the way of it? What do you say to that? Hey, you killed my friends. Yeah, but look what we've all, look what we've accomplished. Yeah, but we wouldn't even have to be here. For, it's you're fucked either way. After seeing the bustling cast, after seeing the bustling capital, which I thought I'd never see again. Godlike exploits, fiendish exploits. I've seen them both firsthand. And here I seem so tiny. Damn. That's a shot. That'll be the thumbnail for sure. I'll just have to zoom out a little bit. Will you still dream the same dream? Have you found an answer to the question on the, on the Hill of Swords, Rickert? I don't know if Rickert's even thought of... Oh! Fark! I mean, good! Show me that it's not okay! It's it's not okay! It's not. And there's only, there's only a handful of people left in this world that know how we got from point A to point Z. Like, we've gone through a lot of points. Point A to point Z. And Ricker is one of them. And that had relations with the people that were sacrificed to get that. Guts was one of them. Cask was one of them. I'm glad he popped him in the face one time for the one time. Now, is it what the reason's going to be? I don't know, but good. Now, how is everybody else going to react? I mean, instantly, like, Secret Service jump on his ass. We'll see. Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't give three fucks about his name. I already forgot it. Lord Griffith, how dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you tried to give me the spook shakedown. 
before I walked up here. I should have slapped you too. Yes, there's nothing I could do. They could kill me in the blink of an eye without even trying, but... Hey, I'm gonna let it be known. I was ashamed of myself that I couldn't go with everyone to win him to rescue you that day. He's getting it out of his system. Good. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I don't know if Griffith's actually gonna have a reaction or anything to say to it. But good. Get this out. Get this out of your system, bro. Because there's no one... You could sit there and talk about it all. He could he could have these story. He could say these things to Guts and Casca. It wouldn't hit the same. He's getting to say it to the person. I was ashamed of myself that I couldn't go with everyone to win him to win him to rescue you that day. I felt like I owed a debt for not getting to share in the fate of the others, for being unable to get mad like Guts, or take responsibility like him, for only being able to stand there and watch him go. But then. That hill of swords, the one who made all their grave markers, was me. Have you noticed the new band of the hawk's crest? The shape of the wings, it's a little different from the old crest. That is it. I'm Rickert, member of the band of the hawk, led by Griffith the White Hawk. My leader isn't the Hawk of Light. And he walks off? Good! Get his ass! <laughs> Get his ass! Okay, hey. Hold on, let me scroll up here. Let me scroll up, let me scroll up, let me scroll up. The slap's pretty great, but the problem is going to be trying to fit that into... I mean, I could fit that into scale if need be. I could fit that into scale if we have to. I could chop it up. Flip it. Put that thing down, flip it and reverse it. That's not bad. I kind of like him walking away, though. But this one was also pretty good here. Mmm. Mmm. But something about the walk away is pretty great. Oops, going a little too far. But see, here's the thing. It's like, does he feel anything? I kind of like this one. The other ones are cool, like him slapping and then meeting up, but I think that's good. Um, like I said, there's top five interactions I want to see with like the 40 something chapters we have left this is one of them um Guts is number one Guts with Griffith is number one Skull Knight with Griffith is number two uh Casca with Griffith is number three Rickert with Griffith is number four and Farnese for some reason because I feel like there's something in there that he could like tug on um and good I'm glad good for you I don't know if Rickert survives the next chapter. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what... And again... Was Griffith aware that this was going to happen? Is he kind of like all-seeing, all-knowing, premonition type shit? Did he know he was going to walk up here and cause a fit and storm off? Like, I don't know where the bounds go of like what he does and doesn't know. Um, are they going to allow him to stay in the city? For assaulting... You know, the king of the world, essentially. Um, I don't know, but good. Good on him, man. I don't know what Rickard's story has going for it from here on out. What it'll turn into, what it won't, what his part to play is, because it's not like he's some hybrid ex-hawk that's now an apostle. That would be wild, though. I'm, I'm actually surprised we never, they never kind of did anything with that. Um had one of the like group of the hawk the original group also go down the behalit path and be willing to sacrifice anything and you know their conviction to follow griffith was so strong when they were all humans now imagine you have the ability of an apostle to then follow him because now you've leveled up beyond anything you could imagine to help him that would be wild damn i would love to see that we're never going to see it because there's nobody they could use to do that i mean they could use ricker but um but ricker doesn't have immense power he doesn't have a. He's not going to kill anybody of any significance. He doesn't have elf or magic powers. So who knows what part he has to play other than maybe pulling on heartstrings or emotions or anything. Um, but hey, he said his piece. Now maybe he can be at peace. I don't know if he thinks he'll be able to stay in the city or where else you can go. Um, but good for him. Now the follow up is does this man have any emotion is there anything within him did he know this was going to happen or going to go like this um 
And does it make him think for a little bit? Does it make him ponder? I don't know. That's the big question, but not bad. Not bad. We'll go ahead and leave it there. We're already going at 40 minutes. I know most of y'all won't watch to this point anyway, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...